Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is your March 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you well Pisces. <clears throat> Here are the cards, the four general energies of the month. Um, now I did get a few additional cards, so I'll read them. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Tower, the Empress, the Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands. The overriding energy of the month is the star, which is beautiful. Business, finances, money. Um, I pulled a couple of additional cards because I just wanted clarification. So we had the Hanged Man, the Two of Swords, the Three of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Top two cards um, are very much linked to love and romance with the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Cups, though these energies can overlap sometimes. And I've pulled some angel cards for further clarification. So I'm going to start with the angel cards, Pisces. Sorry, I don't know. I just hit that then. So the first one is Harmony. This is the angel oracle card, needing balance needing to find balance in your life. And I kind of think that's a general energy of the month. This is about needing to find balance. So it very much ties in with this card. This can be about finding balance, certainly with emotions. You see emotions in the background here. The waves represent emotions that are linked to water. This could be emotions clouding your judgment, throwing you off balance. So maybe this has happened in the past. This could be associated with a tower moment here. Um, but this is about needing to reconcile differences within you or differences in your external world. Focus. Focus is needed this month. The star energy, beautiful energy, this will bring focus and balance back into your life. If, you, if you've been asking the universe for a question or something or some guidance, the answer is yes. I've got three cards on the Angel Answer cards. Um, there's Opportunity. So that's lovely. And Ask Your Angels. So again, this is very much tying to divine guidance, connecting with your spirits, um, spirits, ancestors, um, angels, the universe. Because this is a real guiding energy, it's a beautiful energy, the star card. And um, this is about the appreciating, and funny enough, the star card comes after the tower energy. It's appreciating the journey, appreciating what, appreciating what you've learned from this tower experience. Change has happened in your life. For some of you, you've had upheaval. Um, you've had to cope with difficult situations, change, obstacles, negative situations, something that's really tested you. And the stars are healing energy. It's the calm after the storm. It's the calm after the storm. Filling you with hope, filling you with guidance. But it's also saying, you know, you're going to shine brighter now because you've grown in experience through the tower energy. It's realigned you to your true purpose. And you, now you understand where you're going. And hopefully, certainly for some of you, you're beginning to understand the reasons why things have happened the way they were. Or you soon will, maybe in March. Um, because something had to give to bring opportunity into your life and re-establish harmony and opportunity and potential and growth in your life again, understanding where you're going, realigning you to your true path, realigning you to where you're supposed to be going and stop you. Sometimes with the tower energy, we can go round and round in circles. The tower energy is saying it doesn't fit you anymore. This is a square tower with a round crown. This is your crown. It doesn't fit you anymore. So it had to be raised to the ground. The universe struck the tower. This could be your core system, your core beliefs, could be in relationships, could be in the work situation, could be with jobs. Um, and raise it to the ground because you're meant for so much more. And this is about learning from that experience, understanding where you're going. And that's what you'll get with a star, this true understanding for growth and expansion. Um, and I say that because she pours a cup into the lake 
but also um, pours water onto the ground. Talking about growth expansion, fertilising the ground to grow in its true form with great foundations. That's the beauty of the star's energy. And you're more unique. See how this star's yellow? You're bigger and brighter than you ever have been before. And if you don't know it now, Pisces, you will know it soon. Two of Pentacles, like I said, this can be an earthly form of the Temperance card. Um, so yes, it can be about choices, but it can also be about opposing forces, coping with disaster, difficulty, um, all the emotions and the complex emotions that that brings, reconciling the past and the present so you can see and release to the future. This is the beauty of this, finding balance again. If something has thrown you off balance, certainly with this tower energy, you're being grounded again. This talks the pentacles energy is earth energy. This talks about being focused, being practical this month. To achieve success, your ships are on the horizon. This is about your ships coming in long term. Your ships are on the horizon. So success is within sight. And I think you are beginning to take leadership in your own life. You're beginning to see your power, see your true capabilities, certainly with the King of Wands. You're beginning to find passion and desire. I think this change that's happened has caused you to reevaluate what you want in life now. And that's certainly something that you'll get with the King of Wands. What's my passion? What, am I, what, I, what do I love? You know, what do I want in my love life? What do I want in my career? Am I achieving what I want? What do I want in money? All those questions the King of Wands had been through and answered himself and has achieved. The King of Wands is a sign of achievement. And the Empress is a beautiful energy. This is about reaping the harvest that you've sown. This is about planting seeds. Whatever you do in March, I think for some of you, has long-term consequences, has long-term potential to deliver real success in your life. This is about abundance, uh, mat you know, material security, wealth, prosperity, happiness, love. The Empress can talk about true love relationships. Um, but it's very much about creation as well, creating something for the long-term um, so whatever you're moving towards now, whether it's jobs, security, investments, money, new friendships, new love in your life, um, you're creating a better experience for yourself long term. Certainly some of you are. Um, the Empress is also about being able to attract, seeing where things are lacking in her life and being able to change them for the better. So being able to attract what she needs to make her successful, to make her whole. That's beautiful energy. And it's very much about love. There's very much about love linked to this card. Opening the heart. Whatever this tower situation was, Pisces, it's over. This is the ten. It's over. And long term, you'll find happiness, you'll find security, you'll find stability. There's a potential to find true soulmate relationships. If you don't have the soulmate relationship now, there's a potential, certainly in March. Again, planting the seeds for long term success, abundance, stability, love, growth. That's the Empress. So in March, you have the ability to plant the seeds to find opportunities in love, in business, in finances, to grow for the long term. So there's a potential soulmate relationship around the corner for you if you're looking out for it, if you try and attract it, if you're wanting to plant those seeds now of love and success. Because for some of you looking at the love Yeah, some of you are walking away from love. You're walking away from, um, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're turning your back because you're not feeling whole. You see, we've got the eight cups lined up here, but you see there's a missing cup here. Something's missing in the relationship. And you want your soulmate. You want your happy ever after. That's what you're searching for. This is a, uh, this is a knight who's searching. This is you. I think some of you are searching for 
your soulmate, better experience of love or new love potentially, but you've certainly turned your back on maybe a relationship of the past, certainly for some of you. Now I'm going to grab these cards. So in business and finances, so to start with, we have the hanged man. Because these two cards came out originally, you felt stuck on the business front. You've not been able to release. It could be to do with this energy that's been going on with the tower, um, reconciliation, trying to reconcile peace, stability, balance back in your life. Swords are about truth and clarity, and the swords are very much linked to the mind. So you're not putting something into perspective. This is about being stuck, but it's almost kind of like a self-imposed state of stuck, being stuck. You see all this water around this person. This can talk about emotions clouding your judgment as well, keeping you stuck. So the idea, it could well be linked to this love situation as well, potentially. Um, but the idea is that you need to see the truth of the clarity of the situation and you are searching for answers, you're finding those answers within you. Um, this is connecting to universal energy, finding the answers and um, probably seeing things from a different perspective maybe. But you're going to find answers to whatever situation that has kept you stuck, that has kept you feeling like you're trapped. Why do I feel trapped? Maybe some of you feel trapped in a relationship. Maybe some of you feel trapped in a job. Hmm. Anyway, you are finding that liberation. You are finding that liberation and the answers within. The answers within. Yeah, you'll be enlightened this month. And beautiful energy. The Ten of Pentacles. This can be about wealth. Money coming into your life. Money, this is the money card. Um, this can be about committed relationships as well. So this can be about family, taking care of your family, friends, um, material security. Again, it's a 10, so something is ending this month. You're going to find a solution to whatever this is, and it's going to remove the issue. Um, it will release, and you'll move on to more abundant times. This is about money coming into your life now. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful energy and there's reason to celebrate again reason to celebrate be joyous be happier happier times are ahead pisces um so yeah beautiful reading um really really powerful even though you've been through dark times the light's coming this is light um so yeah and really two completion cards the same very much something is over um, you're turning your back on something that's not serving you anymore because I think this energy has made you see things clearly, what you want and what you don't want. And, and in the, making those decisions, you're beginning to release opportunity and connect with the universe. The universe is trying to guide you to bring you success and put you on your true path. So, yeah, absolutely. This is the calm after the storm. But it's a calm where you see your purpose and begin to shine brighter in your true light. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Pisces. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you.